you're born before 1990, there is a very good chance that you will have had an amalgam or metal filling. These fillings were very common and one of the most popular dental restorative materials in the 20th century and they still make up a very large proportion of the existing fillings in Australian mouths today. One common question that patients often ask us is, should I have my amalgam fillings removed? One of the ingredients used in amalgam fillings is mercury and many people are also concerned about the dark colour affecting their dental aesthetics. But as a general rule, we don't recommend the removal of amalgam restorations without a good reason. So if the amalgam has broken or if there is recurrent or new decay getting in underneath that filling, if there is a chip or an existing crack in the tooth structure, then removing or replacing that amalgam restoration usually is a really good idea. And if a patient comes to me and expresses some concern about the ingredients of an amalgam restoration, I usually will say that while the jury is still out on the systemic impact of amalgam restorations on our health, if you've received advice from your GP or another healthcare provider that removing amalgam restorations is a good idea for you, then we can remove them and we will follow the safe amalgam removal protocol when we do so. One detail about amalgam fillings though is that they are often quite large. So removing an amalgam filling and replacing it with a normal tooth coloured restoration is not always the best idea if purely from a structural perspective. So make sure that you do discuss your unique restorative circumstances with your dentist so that you can make the best treatment decisions for you.